Hello everyone, this is Maria from Maxificio. Thank you for joining me today and filming in Fort Ventura. I'm back again here um, at the villa where I've been filming some classes in the past. Um, I'm going to be filming a Pilates class to work a bit on your abs, your glutes, your arms, so a little bit of everything. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the class. As always, if you do, please give me a thumbs up at the end of it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And if you're interested in any of my online classes or services, you can visit my website, maxifisio.com. For this class, all you need is your mat, so no other equipment needed. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and get it started on our back. So if you make your way to the one end of your mat, making sure you're comfortable in case you need a bit of a cushion for your head. And then just gonna make sure our legs are hip width, our back is neutral, our shoulders are nice and open, the back of our neck is lengthened. And we're just gonna inhale here. And as we exhale, we're just gonna think of drawing a little bit of tension through the deep abdominals and our pelvic floor muscles, so connecting with our deep system. And then we're gonna inhale and let that go. And we're gonna exhale and connect again with our deep abdominals and pelvic floor muscles. Okay, on the next exhale, as we engage, we're gonna take the arms up, gonna turn the palms facing down, and then we're gonna inhale again. And as we exhale, I want you to reach the arms back, but making sure you don't flare, not arching through the ribs. Take the arms back forward, and then repeat it again just to open up a bit <clears throat> the shoulders, the front body, but again, being conscious of what's happening. So we're trying to dissociate the upper body from the trunk, the arms from the trunk. So you can always go a little bit deeper if that feels good. I'm stopping where I feel the stretch and where I know I'm controlling my position. Maybe some of you can go a bit deeper and that's absolutely fine. Great, once you complete this one, we're gonna take the right leg tabletop and then the left leg tabletop. Again, make sure you're staying neutral, tummy on. Should make you feel your tummy muscles beginning to work harder. And we're gonna do the same, being very mindful of our leg position. Exhale, reach. Inhale back, exhale, reach, inhale back. All right, we're gonna be adding on. So on the next one, tap the right foot as the arms go back, come back to tabletop, and then go for the left, staying as strong. Breathe into center, breathe out as you lengthen. that's going well, we can progress it by extending the leg. If this is too much, you can come back to the toe taps. Or again, to play with this position, if you take the leg lower, it will be harder. So if you come over here, it will be more challenging on the tummy, but you still need to control the trunk. Or the other way around, you could reach the leg maybe a bit higher, and that will also be a bit easier. So just find the angle that works for you. I'm going to do one more on each. And then I'm going to bring the knees to the chest. And I'm going to find a bit of movement and recover. All right, from here I'm going to take the feet down. If you've got anything underneath your neck, please move it away or make sure it's not very high, it's sort of flat, so your neck stays neutral, because we're going to begin to bridge. So rolling the spine up to the shoulders, we're going to inhale the top, and we're going to exhale as we make our way down. And we're going to repeat that again. So exhale as you press the floor away, feel the glutes. This is also nice for the spine, because we're adding a bit more mobility. Uh, on the actual back. Okay, we're gonna add on the same movement we're doing on the arms before, but maybe trying to go a bit deeper, so it's more of a stretch. 
and then keep the arms there as you roll down and then return the arms if for any reason your arms don't like it you don't need to go all the way back you could stay slightly higher as always listen to your body should we feel nice I'm gonna try to go for one more with the arm variation. And then I'm gonna keep my arms down. I'm gonna return to the bridge and I'm gonna be taking my right leg tabletop. And then from here, I'm gonna exhale and reach and come back to tabletop for five. Stay in a strong to the left. Four, three, two, one. From here, I'm gonna return down and then I'm gonna go for the other side. So I'm gonna bridge, breathe in here, breathe out left leg tabletop, inhale again, and then exhale, we reach for five. Keeping the right side strong, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna return and I'm gonna give you the option of progressing that. You can always come back to the same level otherwise. So exhale, bridge. Inhale here, and as you exhale, now try to extend the leg up. Maybe your knee will be a bit bent. That's okay, just try to keep it long. And then from here, this time I'm gonna change the breath. I'm gonna inhale, I'm gonna flex the foot and lower the leg. Exhale, I'm gonna point the toes and lift again. And I'm gonna do it again five times. This is two. Inhale, down, exhale, up. Flex to lower. Point up, and one more. Up, great, bring the foot down. Release from the bridge, and let's go for the left side. Bridge up again. Inhale here, exhale, left leg long. Trying to stay as extended as possible. Now flex the foot, inhale, lower the leg. Like a kick, exhale, point. And again. So I'm gonna exhale to lift, inhale to lower. We got two more. Flex to go down point to come up and your final one breathe in breathe out bring your foot down release well done knees to the chest recover all right from here you can hold the top of the shins at the back of the thighs we're gonna roll to a seat I want you to find your balance for rolling like a ball and we're gonna repeat it again so again hands oh sorry touched <laughs> try not to so hands on the thighs hands on the shins I'll show you here again yeah otherwise you can come back to hands on the shins which is a little bit harder but as always you have options so work with what you think is best for you or whatever you can achieve today and we're gonna try to stay balanced on this one hands on the thighs if you had them on the shins take the legs a bit more parallel stay tall draw through the tummy Maybe release your arms if you feel you can hold this. Otherwise, continue with the support. Try to work through the core, keeping your stability. For another four, three, two, one. And now come back to here. Open the knees a little bit. Take the hands. I'm going to give you two options again. Hands to the outside of your lower leg, the calf, like around the ankle. Knees a bit open. And then we're going to breathe in and out to extend the right leg, toes pointed. And then we're going to do the same on the left leg, trying to keep your balance. Maybe you won't be able to extend the whole way. Maybe you'll stay a little bit bent if your hamstrings are tight, and that's fine. Okay, otherwise the more classical way of doing this is with the hands through the inside, grabbing the heels. And this is going to give you a stronger stretch as well. So I'll show you as well. You can challenge yourself, or if you know you have good flexibility, we can go for this. And then you can continue with singles or doubles. I'll come back to this version first, which is a bit easier. So trying to come to here, shoulders away from the uh, ears. Okay, or again, maybe I'll try here challenging for my flexibility and my strength but I'm gonna give it a go see we can do two more 
and one more time. Great, and then from here, we're gonna roll again down and back up. Great, so we're gonna change positions. We're gonna come to four point kneeling, so we're gonna be on our hands and our knees. And you can have a bit of padding on the knees if you need to add a bit more. Uh, you can have your hands flatter, you can be on your knuckles if your wrists tend to be a bit stiff. And we're just gonna be going through cat and cow stretch, so we're gonna inhale to lengthen, exhale to round. I hope you're enjoying the sound of the birds. I find that so peaceful, so relaxing. I'm not sure if you, you might even see them a little bit in the background. They're flying around the tree and they've got a little nest on the roof. So let's just go one more time each way. And then let's just stop neutral, yeah? So picture one straight line from the back, along the back, sorry, from the head, shoulders, hips. Now breathe in and I reach your right arm and left leg away from each other. Come back and then change. Good. And then let's repeat it again. Reach and back. Reach and back. One more time on each. All right, now tuck all 10 toes, lift your knees, hover, stay strong for five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, hands a bit more forward, high plank. Okay, stay again. Five, four, three, two, one. And then come to the forearms. It's just a short and quick one. So another five, four, three, two, one. Now come back to your hands on the middle. Come to the high plank. Reach your right arm forward. Now as you exhale, inhale, come back. Try to stay as stable as possible. There will be a bit of movement, but try not to twist too much. And again. Good. Again, six. Back. Five. Back. Four. Three. Two, one, okay. Release, child's pose very briefly. <clears throat> and I come back to your hands again about shoulder width. And then lift your right leg as you exhale and down. So a bit like we did with the arms, but now with the legs. We're gonna complete, complete 10. So this is four, six to go. Stay strong. Again, four, Three, two, one, and child's pose. Good. You can roll your hands a little bit if you need to. All right, and then from here, we're gonna be doing push-ups. So I'll give you options, it's depending on how you, how you feel with arms. So is your option just normal four-point kneeling, keeping the elbows wrapped in and just going for this. So we'll inhale down, exhale up. Option two, going to more of a modified plank, which is probably what I'm gonna be doing today. Inhale down, exhale up. And option three, to do the push-up from your high plank. So going a little bit forward, inhale and exhale. So I'm gonna stick to the modified plank because my arms are a little bit tired. Um, I went for a surf yesterday, which has been the first surf in a while, so my arms are paying for it today. So I'm just gonna stick to this, but if you feel strong, you wanna come to the plank, by all means, come to the full plank. All right, let's go. So get set, breathe in, and breathe out from the position you choose. You have those three options. Two, three, I'm gonna do six, this is four, Five, six, child's pose, release. We need to go back to the same again. All right, so let's come back to it. Find your position and let's go. Again, six times. Two, oh my God, my arms are very tired. 
<laughs> but I'm trying to keep working. <sighs> All right, last one. And uh, not sure if I had an extra one there. <laughs> I got a bit distracted. <laughs> well, the only way I mean for six. All right, we're gonna do one more set, yeah? So three sets of six. So I want you to feel a bit of fatigue, basically. My arms are very, very tired, but... <sighs> All right, let's try, yeah? So back to the position again you've been working on. And let's go again. <sighs> one. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, well done. Child's pose. All right, roll your hands a little bit. And we're going to finish just doing a little bit of glute work, but still getting a little bit of work through the obliques, so the core, through the arm, because you're gonna be on the forearm. You could always do this lying down on your side if coming onto your forearm is not appropriate for you. For any reason, your shoulder doesn't like it, you can modify it. So we're gonna inhale here, and uh, well, you got your legs about 45 degrees, sorry. Um, one hip over the other. So we're gonna inhale as we exhale. So we're gonna come up to modified plank and then we're gonna kick the top leg. And we're gonna come back. You're gonna repeat it again. You could reach your top arm up. You could look up, you could look down. You could keep it here if you prefer. You can use it for a bit of support. One more. All right, and down. Gonna go again, we're gonna try to do a side kick. You can always repeat this if needed. So exhale to come up and then breathe in and out. Pointing the toes for the forward kick, flexing to return. Again, you can bring your arm here. We, oh, sorry, got distracted there. Two more. All right, and down, other side. So, again, you're on the forearm, uh, elbow in line with the waist, legs about 45 degrees, one hip over the other. If you need to, just repeat the same, but fully side line, so you won't get the arm, the obliques involved, but you're still working on the glutes. Inhale, as you exhale, come up, take the top leg up, extend it, and then we're gonna inhale and exhale to bend and extend. Like I said, arm out, arm here, arm here for a bit more support, you can look up, you can look forward. Two more of these. And release. All right, we'll try to add the side kick on your modified plank, but you could repeat this if needed, if the next variation is too much. Come on up. And forward kick point and flex. Inhale, exhale again, hands, whatever works for you. You can again look up, look forward. Two more. A hard. And release. Well done. All right. Okay, so as soon as you finish those, let's lie ourselves down. Roll to the spine so you're still active through the tummy. Take the right knee over the left. But well, you could hold it here, or we can bring it up for a deeper glute stretch. So we're gonna do a few stretches now, just to release a bit the muscles we were working on. We're gonna change. Same on the other side. It's not the difference which side is tighter. All right, now take the right knee and left leg down and just with your left hand guide the leg over. You can extend the right arm to the side and turn your neck to the right for a bit of a stretch on the shoulder too. But we're still focusing on the glutes, on the hip. And 
the swap. So exactly the same thing on the other side. The left knee brings, sorry, the right hand brings the left knee over. Your left arm is out, you're looking to the left. Okay, bring your arms now to a T. Legs wide and then just rock the legs side to side to release a bit the outer thigh and the hip as well. Also opens up the chest a bit, gets your back moving. All right. And then let's just roll to our front and we're going to be doing over stretch to open up the front body, the, the abdominals. So hands maybe a little bit wider than the mat, legs as well. Shoulders relaxed. Just make sure your back doesn't ache. Breathe. All right, great. Come back to child's pose. And we're gonna open up a bit the front of the thighs and the shoulders to to finish. So I'm gonna take my right foot forward. The left knee is gonna stay at the back. I'm gonna come into a hip flexor stretch or a lunge stretch. And I'm gonna interlace my fingers behind for chest expansion arms. I'm gonna pull, trying to feel open across the front body while I stretch the left hip pocket area, the left hip flexors, the front of the left thigh. I'm gonna change legs and I'm gonna do the same of the arms, but I'm gonna change the cross of my fingers. So maybe go for the one that feels a bit awkward, if that makes sense. If it gets a bit confusing, then just go for the cross that feels easy. It's okay. We can breathe. We can right hip pocket area opening, front of the shoulders opening too. All right, and then from here, we're just gonna tack all 10 toes. I'm gonna stretch a bit the back body, the hamstrings. So you're gonna extend the legs, plant the heels, folding forward, so you're in a roll down position. You can just walk on this spot, but I'm keeping my heels down. I'm just get, bending one knee at a time, trying to maintain the neck and shoulders soft. And then I'm gonna just stop again, sort of on the center, knees a little bit soft, and I'm just gonna roll up. And I'm gonna roll down again. And I'm gonna inhale. I'm gonna exhale to come back up. And I'm gonna do it once more. All right, so last roll up, coming to the top. Great. All right, so maybe we can add a couple of easy shoulder rolls. Maybe the other way as well. All right, and maybe if you need to add a bit of a shake, arms and legs, whatever feel you need to add. But other than that, this is the end of the class. So I hope you feel that you've done a bit of work everywhere, the arms, the core, thighs, glutes, legs, um, to start your day, or if you're doing it during the day, you know, um, I hope this is give, gives you a bit of boost of energy. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you soon in one of my other classes. Bye-bye. Thank you.